welcome back. Well now that we've created our user interface controls within our custom attributes what can we do with them? Well at this moment in time not a great deal because they don't seem to work and that's because they've not been linked or wired to any pieces of geometry or in our case point helpers. Now it's fair to say that there are many different options available to us as far as um, rigging and animating our models is concerned. For example we could use bones or if we're doing a human we could use a biped. There again we could use the relatively new introduction to 3ds Max which is CAT and of course we could also use Reactor which is accessible if we pop up here right click and just check Reactor there. That brings up a menu and as you can see down here we've got an option which is create hinge constraint and that seems to fit the bill as far as our model is concerned because primarily there's only two basic kinds of animation things which rotate about a pivot or are hinged about a pivot however using reactor for our model really isn't appropriate so we're going to dispense with that let's uncheck what we really need is something that's clean and simple and will fit the bill as far as our requirements are concerned allowing us to have something which can rotate about an axis or hinge about an axis or a pivot and the best thing I know for that will be found in our create panel helpers and there we go point so what we can now start doing is actually positioning point helpers at those places where we do need pivotal axes so let's pan around and just move in a little bit closer here So too far well we need one running through the nose cone so let's turn on our snap that's S on the keyboard what I want to do is actually snap to pivot what we want to pick is this one the nose cone base so we've got point selected let's now left click and we've put a point in what I also want to do is just check the axes tripod okay and then we're going to increase this size here it comes just so it sticks out quite a bit say about 23 let's have a look and if we turn off snap now that's on the keyboard and just pan around a little bit I want to be able to see this as you can see now we've got our axes Y Z and X over there okay now we can leave that there for the time being and move on to the next point now I want one for the fuselage so we can turn on snap again we've got the fuselage and there it is there's our pivot point so left click let's put one in we might make that one a little bit bigger actually there we go now looking at that I think we need this further over along the fuselage so let's turn off snap go W for our select and move tool now let's pull this across and the pivot point is just in about the middle of the wing in fact let's go into our left viewport go zoom and yeah about there and let's also bring that down to the line here the control curve line there let's go into top view just to check that there so Z to zoom that looks good lovely and here we can see our X axis there if we're going to perspective let's just pop around pull out a little bit and we can see our Z axis there and our Y axis running along there 
and in fact I'm actually forgetting something whilst I'm doing this um, let's just come across a little bit we want to select this point here and popping into our modify we're actually going to give it a name now this is a point so that's PT and it's a connection so we give it CNT so point connection underscore and we'll call this one prop for propeller okay press return on that let's come across now now sometimes you can't actually select it from this section here which is why we give it a cross and the axis tripod so let's just select that one there that line there point two and we'll call this PT for point CNT for connection underscore and we'll call this fuselage and press return for that one now what we can do is because we've got um, quite a few to create particularly for the ailerons the flaps and the rudder what I want to do is actually hide uh, in the tail section I want to hide the rudder and for the front wing I want to hide the ailerons and the flaps close that down and let's pop up to our create panel pan around a little bit and what I want to do now is just get close in to the wing section here so we have our flap in that section and our aileron in this section so let's turn on our snap and turn off pivot and this time what I want to do is snap to vertices and the aileron covers about this section down here so I'm looking at choosing a section somewhere in the middle if we zoom in a little bit more so I'm looking at this one down here and somewhere there should be a middle section let's zoom in a little bit more perhaps let's have a look at that one there and let's now go to point and left click if we now zoom out we can actually see that this point connector is basically at the wrong angle um, it's pointing straight down to the fuselage what we need is for this X axis to be in line with the wing okay so let's pop into our top viewport let's go Z for zoom press Q to come out of point let's now pop up turn off angle snap and turn off snap now we can go to our rotate tool I'm just going to rotate this so it's running parallel if we can running more or less parallel with our wing let's go in a little bit closer for that one and just pull that round a little bit of faffing around there okay so we've got it running parallel with our wing in the X direction there but let's now go into our front viewport F on the keyboard let's go zoom as you can see it's running horizontal that way and we need it to be running in the same direction as the wing here so we also need to adjust this angle down there and if we can zoom in on this one I want to try and get it as close as possible to this line running through in fact that's quite good I'm pleased with that okay so let's now pull out 
put it into perspective view and let's uh, have a quick look around okay now we've created what I want to do is give it a name PT connection aileron port press return now very quickly we're going to pop into layers manager into front wing unhide the aileron port I want to show you something okay let's pop into our schematic view here we can see point controller aileron port what I'm going to do is link the aileron port to this point controller okay let's go to link select the aileron port linked to there let's now close this if we rotate around a little bit what I want to do is rotate it um, well that doesn't look right because well the X axis is moving all over the place well that's not what we wanted at all this is something that we would encounter throughout but there's a way of sorting this out let's just undo that get it back into position we're gonna go in to our curve editor now don't worry about this too much I'll explain a lot more in detail but I just want to show you this bit okay we can see here we've got our point controller aileron port and if we come down we can see rotation we've got X Y and Z we're on Y at the moment so what I'm going to do is just quickly right click and up here we've got something called lock into Z rotation right click and again we're going to lock it so all we've got unlocked is the X rotation let's now close this down now if we rotate it as you can see our aileron is moving in the right direction and along that plane there okay well mindful of the time we'll continue this in the next session and I'll catch you later